Hey, what's up, YouTube? It is me, Camilla. I'm making a video today. I usually make my videos on Sundays, so I'm doing a Sunday video. I don't know where to start with today's video. I'm going to try to keep this one shorter, but I want to talk about a few things that are heavy on my heart. So basically, um, I'm going to be talking about being trans and the, um, the depression that I've dealt with growing up with gender dysphoria. So when I was 10 years old, I started taking an antidepressant called Paxil. I think it's an SSRI. I've been on antidepressants since I was 10 and I'm 34 years old now. Um, I've been on them my whole life basically. And I've kind of suffered from depression my whole life. Um, I've never really felt happy. like. I know that I have felt happiness, but I've always lived in a depressed state. So like happiness, like that my parents see me as a daughter or happiness and a relationship with someone that loves me or happiness when I graduated college. Like there's a lot of things I've been happy about, but I've always felt underlying depression. And I don't know if that this exists because of my dysphoria my gender dysphoria or if it's 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 mutually exclusive um all i know is that most trans people deal with depression um, and other mental health disorders it's important to check on your friends and let them know you love them it's important i am loved and i'm aware of that but sometimes my depression just is makes life hard and i've been dealing with a chronic illness so i am I was diagnosed with Meniere's disease June of 2014 and over those 10 years um, I've had several surgeries. I've had neurosurgery on my right ear where they went in and hollowed out my skull around my mastoid bone and that allowed my inner ear to swell without hitting the uh, walls of my skull. I've had a lot of really invasive surgeries for it. I've gone completely deaf in this ear. And honestly, like my hearing is really not like the biggest concern. I don't really even care about hearing in this ear. It's deaf. What I do care about is the pressure, the tinnitus, and my loss of balance. So the past few days, I've been dealing with bad equilibrium um, issues where my body just can't find equilibrium. And as a result, everything spins. And I've been dealing with this on and off 10 years. It comes and goes in and out of remission. But my main thing is that I, I could just not get dizzy. I don't know if I've told YouTube or not. I quit driving in my 20s, my mid 20s, um, due to my balance. I don't want to get dizzy at the wheel of a car. So I quit driving many years ago. Um, being disabled is depressing. It's hard because being a transgender person as well, the only support I have is really from my partner and my parents. My extended family doesn't really talk to me or acknowledge me being sick or ever reach out to me. I don't get like happy birthday texts or anything from any of my family besides my mom and dad. And they're getting old and I know that they'll die one day and I wonder who will care for me when they're gone. I had a hearing with Social Security. I had my court date this past Thursday, and hopefully um, the judge reaches a verdict where I will be awarded my benefits. I applied two and a half years ago. I've gone back and forth with Social Security for a lot longer than two and a half years, but this is for this specific case. Um, it's about two and a half years since I initially applied. And my mental health and my Meniere's disease are the re reason that I went to court. And um, it's difficult because I don't have a lot of support in my family. I don't have like loved ones to like lean on. It's all myself or my parents have had to endure everything that I've gone through. And I don't want to put them through more stress than I do. Um, and my YouTube channel, um, I'm not monetizing my YouTube channel at this point. I don't put ads on there. I've considered it and I'm at the point where I could monetize it if I wanted to, but I'm choosing not to because I'm working on 
basically just providing a learning space for people to learn about trans uh, topics from my perspective and try to make it more relatable to the average person. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I'm going to end this. Uh, thank you all so much for the support you give me. It really makes my um, life a better place and I appreciate it greatly. I hope to continue um, teaching and sharing with people. Oh, I'm so sorry, I just lost my lighting. It's like a motion sensor light. Anyhow, I hope y'all en enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will be uploading a new video this week. And there's one last thing that I wanted to mention was that I, had re I recently got a new job and I really like it. It pays really well and unfortunately, with my balance issues, I don't know if I'll be able to continue doing it. So I'm just kind of really depressed right now. Hopefully um, I'll figure out more this week and I will keep y'all updated. Till next time, bye-bye.